see the character super often. So we're gonna go ahead and see uh, what kind of, uh, I guess, synergy a team like Zelda and Lucina have to offer each other. Meanwhile, I feel like Ness and Wolf can pretty have a very cheeky thing that they can offer each other there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is, uh, I, I respect this team a lot because uh, a lot, Zelda can do the zoning and then Lucina can just do the offense and edge guarding. So they kind of cover each other's both like bad segments. If there's any for like Lucina. But, oh my goodness. Wow. See that was, the hold? Wow. What was that? PK fire to Wolf F smash? Holy crap. That was, that was just a young grab. You see the, 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 yeah. the pummel. And that, that's the, oh man, give me your lunch money. Have him by the lockers. <laughs> and he just said, duff him. You know, punch yeah. him right in the gut. Made sure uh, to collect what he was looking for there. The collections agency coming in full effect. But this game one already is off to an explosive start. We have a riot on the ledge. You're getting caught by the Yoya of Karna. And they're just trying to make their way back to the stage. Jesus, man, the lightning kick does so much shield damage. The immediate down smash afterward to follow just add that more hurts. pressure. Yeah, it has to hurt. And right now, Riot, Riot's at 94 right now on his second stock. That's a, that's definitely not a place you want to be. I think Riot has to slow down a little bit because he's getting. Oh wow, that's just it. And now Riot on his last stock, only a minute into Who? game one. Right. Yeah. That's, and that's the thing, right? He's disappearing so quickly that it's hard to even notice the press camp on stage. I mean, he has landed some lightning kicks, confirmed some KOs, but really needs to work on the longevity of these stocks. He wants to make it so his partner is able to hang in there. Now, granted, Mr. Ryan Ness seems to be doing fine. 141 uh, when they're losing that first stock there. We'll finally go down. But this actually isn't super bad for the red team here. No. Riot can remain roughly unscathed, like we're seeing here, and the use of the Phantom as well to include uh, even more offense. It's like a three players versus two when that uh, Phantom is on the screen, so it's yeah. very smart. This is a. Uh for a minute, Miss Orion has had a uh, Tora. Oh, God. Oh, is that an SD? Bet it is. Ah, yeah, that's just unlucky. I know. I know. Karma like doesn't really like the stage lot because he definitely gets he gets caught by that a lot, which is just unlucky. But now it's pretty much back to even. Uh, one SD to make up for a super early stock. And now uh, Ryan S is just oh my God. pressing Tora right now. Oh, nice high recovery. He was getting caught by it before. See, Mr. Ryan is even fishing for the shield breakers now, uh, because at this point you, you managed to find it. Uh, you're not really losing Down out smash. on much, and even if they shoot, oh my god! Yeah, he he was he was a, not afraid to just commit to it. Ooh, this is a scary spot. They they're both off stage. No, we got a phantom. Yeah, this we do. We'll go ahead and try to cover it. Looks like perfectly timed roll from Karna is going to be able to save him there. But you know, Tora and Karna are, are are on the receiving end of some punishment here. Wow. Oh my god. You see the head nod? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> the daily double shout out wow. to Jeopardy. <laughs> wow. They wow. even know the replay. D -d 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 give give me the slow-mo on this one too, Devin. Just to make sure that people can really see. <laughs> oh wow. yeah. He caught him with the speed spot on both of them. That's just br that's brutal. And it, had, it had even had the close-up too. Holy crap. <laughs> it knew. Oof, so I know, right? <laughs> Just like, <laughs> ouch! Yikes! That that has to hurt. They were up a lot too, and uh, was it Roar of Thunder? Hear right. my cry? <laughs> and that's the name of that book. It's like, ouch! <laughs> <laughs> Ryan really said, "Suck my toes." Yeah, I know, right? Just give it a, a good old uh, slob a knock. But you know, even with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and move into game two. See what they have to afford here. I mean, that ending. Uh, it was looking really bad at the start for the yeah. red team. They had, uh, you know. Riot One lost stock two left pretty Riot. early stocks, exactly. and then, uh, and then it was, and then Ryan S was like, "I play Lucina," and then just continued to fare Tora and Karma, and uh, pretty much even it out. But we're having two character switches here. We're having uh, Karma switching to Joker, which I know he wants to play Joker because he loves Persona a lot, and we're having uh, Ryan S switch over to Richter for this game too, and. I think I think this team could actually work out as well because uh, Richter has a lot of projectiles and if it ever gets close to Riot, Riot can just press neutral B and it works out. There we go. We can already see the Joker from Karner putting up all this pressure on Richter. And the thing is, like, yeah, he's pretty good at space. And there we go. That uh, kind of invulnerable up special at shield is going to be a very comfortable option for any Richter player uh, as they're trying to deal with some sort of pressure on his shield. But man, that's wow. Awesome. I don't want to KO. But we have our, we have Arsene here or Arsene, whatever. I don't play Persona. We Arsene. have one of those here. We have limit here. <laughs> yeah, limit limit on deck. Yeah, yeah. let's go with that. Genkai will code. 
Oh, yeah. And now a, it's gone. That was a risky recovery from Karma because he was worried about the axe in the in the uh, holy water from uh, Ryan S. And then just spaced away from the ledge a little too far to try to not get caught, but grab it still. And uh, blue team down two stocks to the six from red team. This is, uh, I think I think red team might have download complete here. Oh, oh, that was just not what he wanted. He hit him with a phantom for the team kill. There we go. Karna's going to go ahead and recover low here. And now try to rack up more damage. Probably on a right. There we go. It's going to be a hit. And he kind of forces right nice. into the corner. Beautiful. Yeah. When, uh, when Joker has just Arsen, he, he has the ability to go super deep for edge guards. And he, he definitely showed it there with just the raw fair. Powerful fair, too. Yeah, definitely yeah. strong. Arsen, Arsen hits the gym, that's for sure. <laughs> I think um, I was just watching Karma try to, he was juggling uh, Ryan S a bit, and he had the up throw up air, and he didn't commit to another one, which he should have just committed to another one, because Richter has really bad air drift, so he could just keep doing it, and all Richter can do is just air dodge. And if you know he's going to do it, you can just up, you can just wait and air dodge again. There we go, the holy water, and he's just going to air dodge. Okay, no. We good, we good. Uh, thankfully, that recovery with Marsan. Uh, does go pretty high, but it doesn't even matter. Gets caught on the way up again. So now we're coming down to the victory here. Blue team uh, a little bit with their backs against the rope. You do have a lot of damage racked up. Uh, well, not even anymore because the stock is gone to yeah. Tora. So really, final stocks for the blue team. Red team pulling ahead quite comfortably. And we do have a team of kind of zoners, right? Zelda, uh, she can box a little bit, but really she's kind of best at that mid-range. She's facing around the fairs, the back airs, uh, and that phantom using that as an approach tool. So now we're going to see what the blue team can do. But they're being forced to the corner again. The amount of times Tora's had to recover high has been, I don't, I don't even know, numerous. Yeah, there's just been a lot of times where he's forcing to recover high. And there's not really much he can do otherwise. Oh, oh my the fair God. to catch him. And yep, that's going to be... Wow. This is just... that. This is rough for uh, Blue Team right now. This is looking like a 2-0. I won't lie. And this is oppressive. You see, their strat here is that, you know, Riot will either shoot out these Din Fires or shoot out the Phantoms. And it kind of covers the entire low yep. ground, right? And then the other one just says, all right, I'll throw out Holy Cross or I'll throw out Axis. And it's like, well, I can't really jump either, so do I just yeah. stand here? Right, you, you feel like you're very limited in options, especially when it comes down to that 2v1. How do you make a comeback in that scenario, especially mm -hmm. as a character uh, without really uh, anything to offer in terms of, uh, you know, granted Wolf does have a, a reflector. Yeah, but like as but soon as he reflects one, it puts him in a, like a position where he gets hit by another projectile. Right. He can't, he can't reflect another one immediately. So, and he just doesn't really have like the the air mobility and the drift to be able to like play around a lot of it. So he was just getting stuck at ledge, and then he was still stuck at ledge. And as soon as he got back up, it's another projectile sent off. Right. And as soon as he came back on stage, if if one of them drops the uh, ledge trap, the other one caught it. 